Yeah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. What is, a, what is a wonderful day that the Lord has made? It has always been a wonderful day. Je dis à nous, dit bon Dieu, merci. Nous glorifions nos bon Dieu, nous exaltons nos bon Dieu parce que bon Dieu réel, bon Dieu fidèle. De pouvoir en vie, c'est pour qu'à dire bon Dieu, merci. De pouvoir quoi respirer, de pouvoir que vous avez glorifié nos bon Dieu, qu'à parler, son grâce que lui. Nous ne pouvons pas, <coughs> um, pas mériter la vie, mais c'est à bah nous la vie. Heavenly Father, we praise you, we glorify your name because of God Almighty. At this moment, I thank you, Father God, for giving Exercise Matinal another opportunity to come before you, um, not only to praise you, but to glorify your name because of God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. Thank you, God, for giving us another Wednesday. We recognize, Father God, if you were not in our lives, uh, um, we will not have seen today. And we thank you. And we ask that the special blessing for every viewers that are going to be seeing this program whenever that they see it, um, the, your blessing shall be upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. C'est comme ça exercice matinal rentrer la maison, c'est comme ça exercice matinal saluer vous sur plateforme non gagner la soeur Marlène Vincent Laurent euh um, gloire à Dieu qui doit dîner toujours là le mercredi et nous connait gagner avec nous pasteur Jean-Robert Laurent um, qui veut salutationner qui pas là et aussi euh, et tout le monde euh, qui branché nous souhaiter aussi nous votre cojam souhaiter aussi c'est qu'on a fait connaissance avec exercice matinal nous souhaite bonne année 2024 aujourd'hui c'est le mercredi 17 euh, janvier 2024 euh, nous saluer vous et nous dire que et puis gros nouvelle nous gain pour même exercice matinal gain pour même après-midi à Jésus a retourné et puisque Jésus a retourné ou même qui peut reconnaître qui monde que Jésus est, il est très important pour qu'on s'y là, qui bon sorti, qui monde coyé. Non seulement sorti là dans votre maman, mais ça qui est important, c'est que monde qui te, qui, qui te permet de côté vivre dans votre maman là, on doit connaître. Monde qui bon sauve de vie, monde qui bon maman sauve de vie, on doit connaître qui monde que lui. Um, this afternoon, we, we salute you in the name of Jesus, and we are so glad to be um here to to talk to you to um to advise you spiritually and to let you know that you know the one who gave you life his name is jesus christ and exercise matinal is here to talk to you about with this uh, um special person this is, i wouldn't say a special person but you know a special god um, jesus christ who loves you and who wants you um to be happy and who wants you to have a fruitful life and who who wants you as well to know that you know one day he will call you home um all of us know that but it's a question that you know will you be staying with him as you see him or if where what will be your final destination in your from your journey on earth we are all here in a journey. We are all here, all here on earth have a destination. Nous toutes là, nous nous c'est une journée que nous y est, et nous devons destiner et nous saluer dans le nom de Jésus et nous voulons faire connaître que bon Dieu nous a et son son mot du spécial, il pas même avec l'homme et non c'est Jésus. Amen. Il se fait homme. Amen. Non, ça te fait. Et Jésus, ça te fait l'homme pour te venir montrer nos chemin. Salut. Et c'est ça fait que et après midi, ou même qui, qui branche un exercice matinal, les nous vient dire où que journée ça, destination ça, de journey comme on nous dit en anglais, um, ou gagner et ou gagner un jour pour les pour le camper. Amen. Ça c'est le jour que mettre souffle là, varre l'eau la caille. Qui que ce soit, nous gagnons nous gagnons pour nous pour nous mourir, c'est ça. Nous pas capable de dire parce que c'est allié, mais qui bon définir de 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 final destination pour aller. Ça c'est très important. Et nous pouvons encourager vous pour qu'on ça 
n'a pas encouragé ou pour reconnaître ça n'a pas encouragé ou pour reconnaître que Amen ou gain un monde qui aime ou bras toujours tendu l'attend et si vous êtes aujourd'hui à nous porter une scripture pour même we bread we bought your scripture is in the book of job um job 20 23 amen it says that where wherefore job i pray thee hear my speeches and hear 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 all my words behold now i have opened my mouth my tongue had spoken in my mouth my words shall be of the of my words shall be of the upright right rightness rightness of my heart my my words shall be of the the uprightness of my heart and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly the spirit of god had made me and the breath of the almighty has given me life the verse for we are um job um 33 chapter 33 verse 1 to 4 but uh, the verse that we're going to be um focusing on is verse 4 where it says that the spirit of god had made me l'esprit de dieu créé job chapitre 33 le verse les versets 1 à 4 le verset que nous allons parler de là c'est verset 4 là, qui dit l'esprit de dieu formé me créé amen l'esprit de dieu formé me créé and the breath of the almighty had given me life et souffle bon dieu bon moi la vie et ça n'a parlé où il est très important pour connait que souffle ça qui l'a moi même avant là qui veut m'a respirer quoi respirer qui fait que on ne pas parler avec eux pour t'entendre. Sauf ça qui fait que on ne lever, pas marcher, on la vie, on ne peut pas aller Sauf ça qui fait que on ne quand même, on ne peut quand même l'eau al dormi et pour réveiller parce que souffle là toujours là. Qui moun qui ba ou? Ça très important. Qui moun qui ba ou? The breath that you have. Where does it come from? Who gave it to you? The reason that they don't call you a dead person is because that you are breathing. Once a breathing star, that's it. That's important. So, I would like for you to take your Bible. And we always offer, even though we find people calling or uh, sending us email and requesting Bible, which is good. If you don't have a Bible, we are encouraging you to buy one, to ask, to send us um, a text at, you know, an email at, <coughs> I'm sorry, at exercis, E-X-E-R-C-I-C-E. Matinal M A T I T I N A L at Gmail dot com, you know, and requesting a Bible. If you have a question, prayer request, whatever it is, or you can call me at six one seven three six four nine three six two. Um, if you have questions and uh, you know any show that we make, but what is important is like um, we find a mini version. Um, or many people talk about life um, but different group or different uh, people understand differently they understand um, according to what they have been taught they understand according to what they have they have read they understand life according to their own understanding which um, 
sometimes we do not have any say because somebody understands something some way and in, in their own way sometimes it's hard to to make it to change their mind but I always encourage someone to have an open mind there are certain things that you do not need an open mind because it's simply garbage you know? something that will bring you to destruction destruction not destruction also destruction um, it is simply garbage but something that you have a question mark and which has been proven to you in so many ways I think it is worth to listen to and and consider it pray about it ask deliberately and say God I don't know I don't know who you are but she said that you exist he said that you exist she said that she knows you he said that he knows you but I would like for me to to have a a personal relationship I would like to have my own experience and know that you know that I can believe or um, understand what he or she saying because sometimes people tend to have their own way which is okay because we cannot change that but at the same time um, it is important for one to know or for one to understand or that in the time then the frame of, of time that they have been living they have known people that has been passed it's very important um, <clears throat> what do I mean by that meaning that they each and every one of us know people who have died whether friends family whatever anybody everybody and what happened this is why we're focusing on um, the verse verse 4 and job 33 what happened is when somebody pass or leave the earth or whatever we want to put it in um, they, they stop breathing and Job 33 verse 4 says the Spirit of God had made me and the breath of the Almighty had given me life so meaning that a big bang whatever they say um, evolution couldn't have given you breath uh, a big bang whatever couldn't have given you no breath somebody someone that is almighty which is God Jehovah Yahweh you know who is the owner of the breath or you know or the owner of the breathing process or the owner who's the, the one who formed you create you who made you has put his breath and I and me and you and that will become alive so the same God that has breathed into me and given me life the day will come when this breath will be taking because he has given it he didn't charge me because you wouldn't want to see the bill of somebody's using an oxygen from a company. But our breathing is free. And also, that's very important. Those, you know, those that has a respiratory issues or problem or illness. The reason that they are able to use a machine to help them breathe 
is because the source of the breeding is functioning in them. This is why they are able to connect and you know, and they have the breeding smoother. So regardless, you cannot take a dead person and put a, um, um, an oxygen in their nose, in the nasal, and say, oh my God, I so and so start breathing. No, it does not happen this way. It says here, Job 33 verse 4, the Spirit of God had made me, you know what? and the breath of the Almighty that giving me life. Amen. And because of this ability that the Lord has given me life, He has granted me life because of the ability that I have to breathe. You know, for a fact, you know, this breathing will stop one day. And we will go to see the person who has granted the, who has granted me. I will go see the person who has granted me the breathing ability, who has formed me. Because one thing that um, we don't seem to understand, uh, as um, we educate um, the community of beliefs in God the churches, um, you know, anything, anybody, you know, schools, you know, theological schools, seminaries, you know, it's a different level. Is, um, it's for us to understand each of us that has been granted life on earth, we are here for a special mission. Some of us will say, oh my God, ever since that, you know, what's this woman talking about? Ever since I have been um, born and I know that I am alive, um, nothing good ever happened in my life. That's not true. You being alive, you being wonderfully made, it is something absolutely amazing. Other people, your mother, your father may not be able to see it. It's okay. But just take a look at her. Some people will say, well, you know, um, I am crippled, I am that, I am this. Is is being handicapped or being not able to do, to have some limitation, stop your breathing? No. And everywhere, in anything, or whatever that is happening in your life or in my life, because that we are on this earth, that is an unperfect earth, we didn't come to earth. We, we, did not, we were not granted the opportunity to come to earth or to live on earth because that we're perfect, but we came here for a special mission. And we need to understand that. Each and every one of us is unique in our own way. When we need to, when we start, uh, when we start understanding that I'm here for a purpose, I'm here to serve, I'm here to love. Oh, how could I love? My mother left me, my father left me, blah, 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 blah. I was in jail. I, uh, <laughs> 
each and every one of us carry a baggage, which is a part of the mission. Nobody is perfect. No one is wonder. We are wonderfully made by God, but no one have a wonderful life because we here to learn. As we learn, we are serving. As we serve, Amen. We are understanding our purpose of being here. This is why I always tell people: never shut down on someone that is speaking about God. Because the person next to you, the person that is behind you in church, the person that can sit in front of you, can seems to be, oh my God, I want to, you look at that person and say, oh, I want to be like so-and-so. Do you know what so-and-so is going through inside? Do you know what is her, he or her mission is? Only her or him can carry it. But the fact that you, I know, you know that God Almighty made you. You're not from um, monkeys. No. Not from monkeys. No. The science. Um, have their own understanding, which is, hey, they're good, they, you know, scientists is wonderful. Very good. But, the science of God, which, which I believe in, is not man words, it's God words, you know, tells me that God created. Period. This is why I tell you, some, you know, each and every one of us have our own way of understanding, our own way to see things. No matter how we see it, no matter how, what we want to do about it, but today, it is important for you to know, and you have heard it a million times, but one thing that, you know, whoever, we can, you know, Exodus Matinal, as a missionary group, we have been doing the show at WCS TV at least for a good two years, uh, um, you know, maybe more. But I have to tell you, each show that we do, the, the person that the Lord wants to reach, it will be which by the person, someone to hear that message because that message belonged for someone to someone. At the right time, at the right moment, someone, you know, perhaps um, you will say, oh, there's so many shows, there's so many that, no. Mm -mm. No matter how much, how many shows there are, when God have an assignment for me, I'm going, he's going to make the way for me to do the assignment. Not before, not after, but at the time. I remember, let me tell you, I'll give you a quick testimony. And, uh, 2000, uh, we're in the 24, 2022 in Paris, 21. Um, July 21, um, uh, uh, you know, 2021, we went to, you know, as missionaries, we went to Haiti. Um, while we were there, this is where, um, it, you know, Haiti has been, the situation there has been um, declining for quite a while now, as you know. So, when the Lord, as we, before that we travel, we fast for many days for God to give direction and give the okay to travel. So the Lord has given the okay, so we decided to travel to Haiti. I have to tell you that mission was very difficult because Haiti, it is not a place that, you know, we had to go through Matissa, you know, with the gang, blah, 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 blah. So we, God said it that we will do it. 
we, the, God was with us, we traveled to, and we passed through. And uh, guess what? <clears throat> As we, we, we get to a place where we, the mission is called Dal. When we get to Dal, and you know, we do, you know, we work from 5 in the morning to 11, to 12 midnight every day. We see hundreds of people, you know, and even if we had spent two weeks, even if we had spent a month, it would have not have been enough. Every day is an issue. Every day is an issue. Um, all the drive, like, you know, medical, you know, social, all the things. Yeah. So, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, and we had people that come to, conver um, to be converted to Christianity, and you know, we talk about God, we, did, we held many um, 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 workshop on Christ, and you know, we had some people that baptized. I remember that the young woman, um, she was only 52 years old, very nice, very, very nice, very sweet, um, bless her soul. And uh, she was very young, 52 years old is a young person. Guess what? And uh, you know, she get baptized, she really served the Lord, she loved the Lord, very sweet, you know? And you know, was very obedient to the word. And you know, and you know, and we, she get baptized, blah, blah, blah. So uh, we came, you know, with difficulty, uh, you know, we came back to the state. And you know what, after a couple months, she, she passed. Do, do you know what I, when I'm, we are thinking back, do you know that God could have taken us just for her because God knew what time when she was leaving earth and she wanted, God wanted to, to, for her to have eternal life? And this is why God chosen for us to go in difficult and that difficult, but he, he did um, um, protected us. As he, as he said he would, you know, and she passed. And that, that make, make us feel that, you know, oh my God, we're glad that we went. We, so, therefore, you'll never know. What we want you to understand, as you are approaching 2024, I have to tell you many prophecies, many things that are saying, but I'm telling you, this is the beginning this is the open doors for everything that is in the Bible to start happening. I'm not making you scared, but 2024 is going to be a very interesting year. Remember, Jesus Martin, I told you that. It's already interesting, but the day is coming. The day ahead will not be easy. So take the Lord as your personal savior and understand and be grateful for the life that you have on earth. May the Lord bless you, we love you, and hope to see you next week. God bless.